Hey there, future engineers. Today, let's dive into the science behind wind calculations in structural engineering. Ever wondered how skyscrapers and bridges withstand those fierce gusts of wind? Well, it all starts with understanding wind loads and how they affect structures. First things first, wind load is essentially the force exerted by wind on a structure. To calculate this, engineers use a combination of fluid mechanics and empirical data. The basic formula looks something like this. Wind load equals wind pressure times surface area times shape factor. Sounds simple, right? But don't be fooled, there's a lot more to it. Wind pressure is determined by wind speed, air density, and the shape of the structure. Engineers generally refer to standards like ASCE 7, which lays out the minimum design loads for buildings and other structures. These standards take into account factors like geographic location, height of the structure, and even local topography. Now, let's talk about wind speed. Engineers rely on historical weather data to determine the maximum wind speeds expected in a specific area. This data is often given as a basic wind speed, which is then adjusted based on factors like altitude and terrain roughness. For instance, structures built in open fields face different wind conditions compared to those in urban environments. Next up, the shape factor. The shape of a building plays a crucial role in how wind forces are distributed. For example, a streamlined shape will experience less wind pressure compared to a flat surface. This is where wind tunnel testing comes into play. Engineers use scale models of structures to study how wind flows around them, identifying areas of high and low pressure. But wait, there's more! Wind isn't always constant. Gusts and turbulence can create dynamic effects that need to be considered. This is where dynamic analysis comes in. Engineers use computer simulations to model how structures respond to varying wind forces over time. This helps in designing buildings that can not only withstand steady wind, but also sudden gusts. Finally, let's look at some real-world applications. Take the Burj Khalifa, for example. Standing at over 828 meters, it's designed to handle extreme wind conditions. Engineers used advanced wind tunnel testing and computational models to ensure its stability. Its unique, spiraling shape helps reduce wind forces, making it one of the most wind-resistant structures in the world. So, next time you see a towering skyscraper or a long-span bridge, remember the incredible science and engineering that keeps it standing tall against the wind. Thanks for tuning in and keep those engineering minds sharp. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. See you in the next one.